Good afternoon, Matty B here and welcome to Brands Hatch Indie Circuit for the first annual running of the Tedley's Teabag Challenge Cup. In pole, we've got Mr. Robocod. He has been knocking everyone out of the park so far. In second place, we have Mr. Schwing. Third, it's that effing Jamie. Fourth is some unknown newcomer called Matty B. And fifth is the captain himself, Mr. Pugwash. So here we go. Are we ready? Let's go. Attention mounts. Go, go, go. And Robocar's off to a good start. What about Swing? And then Matty B. Oh, Mr. Schwing's taking the lead. Mr. Schwing is in the lead. Oh, could this be a turn up for the Bucks? Oh, Robocod has gone wide. And that's that Schwing through. Schwing followed by... Oh, Matty B's in the lead. Matty B is in the lead, coming to this bend. Oh, he's gone wide. He's gone wide. Oh, what a newbie. Going back to our leaders. So, Mr. Schwing. One thing to note, these go-karts, they only have a small tank. So there's going to be plenty of piss action. So, Mr. Schwing smoothly through. I think Jamie's up to second. Oh, he's having a good race. Oh, and Maddy B's coming second now. But Schwing is well clear. And what's happened to our race favourite, Robocod? Down in fourth. And bringing up the rear is Pugwash. So into the second lap. And Schwing has got quite a bit of a lead already. F and Jamie is looking quite smooth in second. Oh, and Robocod's come up to third. Robocod's making a charge. Maddie B in fourth. And Pugwash is right on his backside. So let's stay with our leader for a little bit, Mr. Schwing. Looking quite smooth. Taking his foot off the gas. These little go-karts, I mean, you can get up to around 80, 90 miles an hour. Looking very smooth. I think Jamie's having a great race in second. Looking very smooth. Robocod in third. He's got some work to do. He was odds on favourite at the start. And... Mr. Shrew's gone in the pits. Robocod stayed out there. Ah, I think he must be doing his usual fuel conservation method. Oh, Robocod. Maddie B in second. Not a lot of fuel left, though. Swing in third. Now on a full tank. Oh, no. F and Jamie's running out of fuel. No, the poor guy. That pug wash is now coming out of the pit. But Robocod, he may have played a blinder, but he's flashing. He's almost out of, out of fuel. Coming up and into the pits. Maddie B in second. Again, oh, it looks like he's out of fuel as well. So this has given Swing his chance. He can build a bit of a commanding lead here. Hug washing fourth. And then Jamie is still trundling around the drag out of petrol. Not to embarrass you anymore, let's go back to our leaders. So into lap number five. 
It's swinging, but Robo caught it right on his tail. This is the battle for first and second. Oh, what a move. Did you see that? Robo caught. Oh, is that the finger? I can see Schwing putting up to Mr. Robocod. Oh, that's naughty. <laughs> and they've just lapped F and Jamie, who still is trundling along towards the pits. So we've got Pug washing fourth. Matty B in third. Schwing in second. And Robocod. He's now justifying his favourite's tag. It's just like watching poetry in motion. We've got a fun fact about Robocod, actually. Did you know the 84 in his name, a lot of... Oh, he's gone wide! He's gone wide! Oh, no, what's happened there? Is this Swinger's chance? Yes, Swinger's taken the lead. Oh, tragedy for Mr. Robocod. And F and Jamie's finally made it down to the pit, but he's a lap behind. Going back to Robocod... The 84 in his name, people think maybe it was his year of birth, but actually, my advisors tell me that he once won a hot dog eating competition with 84 hot dogs consumed in 10 minutes, and that's where he gets that 84 from. I don't know whether it's true, he doesn't look like a fat bastard, but let's assume it is. Oh, he's, been, he's gone wide again. He's gone wide again. So, Schwing, still in the lead on lap number eight. Oh, this is the battle for first and second. I think we should keep keep watching this for a bit. It's neck and neck. Oh, and Robocop's taken the lead. How's the fuel situation going? They've both got around the same. Again, does look like Robocods on a different fuel strategy. I think Schwing is maybe got slightly the edge, slightly the edge in power at the moment. Oh, and we've got battle for third and fourth. Pugwash has now taken third. Oh, but he's run wide. He's run wide. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. And he comes into the pits. Maddie B. He seems to be coasting a little bit. I have a feeling he may be on a fuel strategy. That means he's going a bit slower than everyone else. Whether that's right or wrong. Probably wrong, but we'll wait and find out. So Pug washing fourth, F and Jamie in fifth. Let's go back to our leaders. Mr. Robocod. Again, looking very smooth. Can't see exactly the distance. Oh, and Robocod's coming into the pits. Oh, no. It looks like Schwing is staying out. But I don't like the look of his fuel situation. He doesn't have a lot of fuel left. Robocod now out of the pits. Maddie B is in third Pugwash in fourth and F and Jamie in fifth so I want to keep the on swing because I have a feeling that he's almost out of petrol let's keep an eye on this as he comes around he must be going into the pits this lap surely let's keep an eye on it he does seem to be absolutely coasting. Yes, he's run out of petrol. Can he get in the pits and out before Robocod? Let's see what happens. No, no, Robocod is through. Oh, what an excellent, excellent race he's having. So Schwing's in the pits. So let's have a look at the number three, Matty B. Let's see whether he can take second place. No, Schwing is out. Schwing is out. Still in second. And if we look, Robocod and Shring have still got plenty of plenty of fuel left. Maddie B is down to well under half a tank. Pugwash seems to be pushing now. And he's catching Maddie up. And F and Jamie 
is back in fifth, the one lap behind. So we're about halfway through today now. I think you can all appreciate just how exciting this is. As I said, this is the first running of the Tetley Teabag Challenge Cup. I know Mr. Robocod's got his heart set on winning it. But Mr. Schwing is falling a bit behind. Robocod's round the corner. Swing now round, probably three or four seconds between them now. Still Matty B in third. Let's see where Pugwash is. Oh, Pugwash is off a little bit. But you can see Matty B in his sights. This is going to be tense. This is going to be tense. Let's have a look where we are now. The leader, Robocod. Coming around the bend. Oh, ran a little bit wide, but he's okay. These go-karts are quite resilient. Oh, Pugwash is in the pits. And Maddy B in the pits. This is going to be interesting to see who comes out first. Keep your eye on it. Pugwash or Maddy B. It's Maddy B just out in front. But you can, you can see now, this seems to be the closest Pugwash has got for a while. F and Jamie's not far behind, but I think he's one whole lap behind everyone else anyway. Poor Jamie. Schwing is out on his own in second, but Robocod is well, well clear at the moment. But he doesn't have a lot of fuel. Doesn't have a lot of fuel. Let's just see whether he comes in on this lap. I don't know about you, but the tension is absolutely killing me. I've never been so excited in my life. Honest. Oh, that's good timing. He just makes it. So let's see Schwing. Can he capitalise on the pit stop? He's still got just under half a tank left. Let's keep your eyes. He comes through. out but I think Schwing has taken the lead oh could this be a turn up I think it's all going to depend now on the strategy but Robocard just is maintaining the lead and as he's got so much more fuel now I think that was a that was a good brave decision to leave it so late to hit so Schwing in second oh Pugwash has taken third as well. We missed that, but Pugwash has got through Maddie B and he's now up to third. Let's watch Pugwash for a while. I have no idea what the 69 in his name means. Answers on the postcard if anyone knows. He seems to be going a bit slow. Again, I think maybe the decision on the the pit strategy and the fuel fuel strategy maybe isn't working so well. He's trying to get that sweet spot, but as everyone knows, he can never find the sweet spot anyway. Always eluded him in life. So Pugwash now seems to be quite a bit clear, but he has much less fuel, so this still could be quite interesting. Now let's go back up to our leader, Robocod. He seems to be having quite a commanding lead now. Oh, and he's putting another fast lap time. This 
boy seems to have the measure of this track. Oh, look at the way he just takes that bend. It's effortless. Pug washes in the pits. Is this Maddie's chance to get ahead? Yes, it is. So let's see where Pugwash comes out. You can see Maddie be ahead of him. And I think he now may have enough fuel to get to the end of the race, but let's wait and find out. As I said, these carts, they do drink a lot of petrol. I'm going back to second, Mr. Schwing. Taking it nice and steady. He should definitely have enough fuel now to the end of the race. But I think he's maybe got too much of a gap to make up on Robocard. It looks like he's cruising to the maiden victory. But I want to concentrate for a bit on the race for third and fourth. Pugwash is closing fast. Won't be easy getting past Maddie B. I think it was once said that he's a wide old boy. This is getting interesting now. Oh, he's all over the back of him. Oh, he ran a little bit wide. Yeah. Is this where he can get into the slipstream and make an attack? There's only a couple of laps left. He's all over the back. Oh, what's it feel like, both of them? Oh, I think Maddie B would definitely going to have to pit again. And Pugwash probably got enough to get through. Oh, Maddie B stayed out. Is that the right decision? He doesn't have much fuel, and already he seems to be slowing down. Uh, looking at Schwing, he's certainly got second place nailed on now. And Robocod has come into the pits for the final time. Let's see how close Schwing can get. He's definitely got enough fuel to get to the end of the race. Let's have a look where Robocod can come out. Is he going to come back out in the lead? Yes, he is. He's got the length of the straight difference. So, Pugwash now. I think maybe he's got it nailed on for third. The matter he's struggling. He looks like he's out of fuel. No, he's going to have to come in. I think that's his hopes of a podium finish dashed. Pugwash now with only one lap left. Looks like he's got third nailed on. Schwing looks like he's set for second. And Wobocod first. So let's watch our leader coming round as he starts his final lap. Looking very, very smooth. I think I can see a little smirk or smile there through the helmet. I think he knows he's got this nailed on. So here we go. Oh, he takes an old grey bend for the final time. Oh! Oh no, did you see that? Is that nerves? But has Schwing got chance? I think there's too much for Gap. I think Robocard, he just let the nerves get to him a little bit. But it doesn't matter as he comes through for the victory. Well done, Mr. Robocard. Second place is coming up, Mr. Schwing. Yes, the third place looks like it's going to be Pugwash. Oh! What's happened to Pugwash? He's run out of fuel. Has Maddie got enough time to get through to the podium? This is going to be too light. It's light, tight even. He's coming through. There's only a few seconds left. 
And he takes third. Wow, wow. What a fantastic end to the first Tetley's Tea Bag Challenge Cup. This has been Maddie B 73 saying thank you for watching this live spectacular race. Um, please like and subscribe. And all this racing is from the Game Tech UK community. I will leave a link um, below for the YouTube channel. Fantastic group of guys. This is Maddie B 73 saying goodbye and God bless.